the twin flame pain is going to vanish finally welcome back once again to the channel andre and petty i'm andre petty is my twin flame it's good to have you here we have been through a lot i'm going to put a timestamp below so that you can skip if you don't have time if you don't have patience i just wanted to give us a small feedback to the people who who the ones who really you know like our content and uh they appreciate small details and stuff it was crazy we want to upload more often and uh, obviously things start to slow down technology doesn't work and stuff now it's all up and running it's very cool but i made these videos before and they got deleted it was crazy so now i have to do it again the pain that i talk about in this video the twin flame pain that is going to vanish finally uh, i'm talking about the type of pain which is like not letting go running okay the running from your twin flame and the chasing because it's also painful to chase a twin flame all the time it's not a game right and not forgiving not forgiving is also very crazy feeling an ease as well now i can tell you in only three words the answer for this video but uh, here's uh, the reason why i don't do these things is because you will not understand and your perception about this topic will be too broad it will be very generalized and very weak i want you to have a type of perception that after you watch the video when you go that's it you have this perception but not a fake perception you understand so the three words for the title of the video basically is it isn't bad that's it you have to combine what i said with the title of the video now i'm going to explain further obviously because you are going to understand whatever you want to understand but i always have to explain because imagine if all videos were just 10 seconds it's ridiculous i tell you the answer you you are going to end up to go and comment a ton of questions because it's not going to answer exactly what you need to hear it's just going to give you just an a small particle and this is not the way we need to explain you also have to get to know me and the way i speak and everything you are going to place everything together pain is a word invented by the ego it is very real it's a very real thing but the more we are away from love the more we manifest pain basically you know pain is a fear-based thing the more we are away from love the more we manifest the pain now you will understand me after you watch the video i promise if you don't you have to watch again to understand better what i just said you have to know something pain is an incomplete word it's just a half it means only half of something in fact pain means half of something else which is way more important than just the word pain because people believe in that that you know pain is that's it is final it means only what it is the world becomes a more fearful place to exist that's because we believe in that but if we don't believe in that if we believe in something more expanded then we don't need to be in such a fearful way then we don't need to live in such a fearful way now let me erase all of this from you and give you a brand new perspective and perception of how life is this is like a philosophical way of seeing life and also it's going to help you tremendously with you and your twin flame or if you don't have a twin flame or if you don't care you and your love okay watch the videos in general for you and your love the one who you love okay because sometimes people are like hey again about twin flames or whatever or uh, this thing with the twin flames it's getting too far no you can see the videos uh, the way they are on earth we can only live in two ways okay with love and fear but this 
you already know. Now, let's go in a more experienced explanation. Because love and fear is just for newbies. It's for noobs. Let's go for a more experienced way. Basically, life is created from unconditional love and with unconditional love and within. So it's all interconnected. We are all connected. We are all one. But this is the primitive way of seeing things. Okay? Because on Earth, we are not connected as, as it is everywhere else. And because of this, we tend to fight. Or people... There's a fight between people who don't fight and people who fight. It's a very strange thing. Now, from unconditional love, there's love and there's fear. Why love again? Because love is conditional when it's separated from unconditional love. So we have conditional love and we have fear. And very few people experience unconditional love. This is a very, very unique thing. So love is separated into two energies. You have unconditional love. Fear, conditional love, and from this love you have energy and healing. So basically that's how you operate. If you are born in a, a place where you do not have a clue what fear feels like, then you will live within these two perceptions the whole time. Energy and healing. For example, I'm going to give you a, a very quick example of what energy and healing means. And after you understand all this, you will understand that pain is going to disappear from you and your twin flame. I promise. I mean, if you understand what I'm saying, uh, otherwise I, can, I promise from whatever I can do, but you have to do your part, you have to work as well, it's not just me. <clears throat> Basically, you wake up, you have energy. I mean, it, it takes time to have energy, okay? You, you drink a coffee, you boost the cortisol, you walk around and stuff, you start to have energy, you are active, okay? You go to eat, you're healing. So the energy decreases and you're healing now. You cannot have both energy and healing. It's possible to have half of both, but not 100% of both. You can only have one or the other. So afterwards, you go to um, talk to someone, you have energy. Because you are using energy to speak and speaking makes you high energetic in general. The person that is listening is healing because you're speaking and speaking is white noise. It's like music to the ears. A little bit, not too much. Depends uh, what tone you use. So the other person is re receptive. It's uh, more on the healing than, the, than having energy. You go back to sleep, you're healing. Okay? The loop continues every day. There's many, many activities that are broken down uh, in energy and healing the whole time. The moon heals, the cold heals, the heat gives energy, and so on and so forth. Actually, sometimes they intertwine, okay? If you had traumas and painful experiences, or your parents treated you very weird way or whatever, you are not going to experience the fullest potential of energy and healing in peace. You are going to experience in a distorted way. For example, instead of experiencing healing, you're going to experience pain because you, you do not understand what healing means and that's why you are going to experience pain. You are going to assimilate your background, your traumas, with what is natural, okay? When you start to heal, you, you actually have pain because you don't let go, you don't move forward. Instead of having energy, you're going to have anxiety. The energy that, that, that I'm talking about is actually pleasant. It's like a, a pleasant move. You're active in a, a pleasant way. And anxiety gives you the opposite. You are going to have energy, but in a very distorted way. You just don't like it. You actually cannot do much with this energy. It's almost impossible to get things done when you are anxious. The energy is all over the, all over the place and it's uh, hitting you on the head, on the stomach. You're just going nuts. So what am I talking about? What's the point of all this? What's the point of this video? The point of the video is that we are all living in pain. In today's day, it's even worse. What's happening in Europe, what's happening all over the world, we're all going crazy. This is the first thing we have to figure out. 
how to live a happy life. And everyone says how to be happy, but how to be happy, it's a very complex topic. Because it sounds simple, but you need to figure out what the heck is going on. So I'm telling you, there's a very big story within how energy works and, the, and, and stuff, okay? And within Twin Flames, it's also very bad. When we don't understand how the energy works, we just feel bad and pain all the time. So now you know what to expect. When you're feeling pain, you're actually healing. When you're feeling anxiety, you're having energy. So you either uh, go back to healing when you're having anxiety to stop the anxiety, or you just need to go even more backwards and start to uh, cleanse your emotional blockages and stuff like this. When you're having pain, remember that you are healing. Not 100% all the time is healing. Sometimes it's going to be pain. Like I said, pain is an incomplete word. For example, how can healing and pain be the same or similar? It's because when you hurt yourself, the body is oxidizing your scar. And while it is oxidizing in order to keep away uh, germs and stuff, it hurts. You know, the pain, there, there is pain to close your scar. And I can give you other things. For example, when you are in love but you cannot express it, you're having pain but healing at the same time. You understand? It's, it's crazy. So you have to remember not to focus on the pain only and remember that you're having pain and healing at the same time. We are focusing only on the negative side of things. We have to swap, okay? That's the point of uh, watching full length videos. This is the point, so you can understand the depths of things. If you want to fast forward videos, this channel is not for you, you have to go. That's it. Give us a like to support the channel in the videos so that more people can see it. Buy us a coffee so that we can drink in the morning because it's tasty. <laughs> it's in the description below. Join us in the Flame Crew, which is uh, a more personal touch with all of us. There we have chat, we have... Uh, exclusive videos, full version, uncensored, and follow us for more content. And thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao.